Hi there and welcome to this brand new video. Again from Spain, south of Spain. We are currently in an old mine town, El Santanillo, and you can see the ruins of that behind me. In this video, I'll be showing you some pages that I've been working on the last few weeks. And it's about patterns, patterns, patterns. Also I had a lovely painting session with Patrice on the beach and I will show you some blossom trees. El Santanillo, it's an old mine town and uh, they delved silver and plumbum here. And there are still some old buildings and they are not really like you can go in. Uh, yesterday we lost our cat and she went into one of those buildings. So that was quite of an experience because they're all nails and things, uh, maybe holes in the ground, I don't know. But uh, luckily she came back when we called her. This is a page where I combined different patterns and I worked mainly with blue and yellow. And I felt really inspired to use yellow again. It's been a long time. And the cause of that is I was reading this book in English, it's called The Secret Life of Colors. And they give a lot of information about all the colors. So like here's yellow, and then they tell many things about particular colors of yellow, like blonde, Indian yellow. So that's very inspiring. And uh, I'm looking forward to go to the next, that's orange. The color that I used was kind of a mixture between yellow and orange, a very old color. And uh, I, I used some patterns that I uh, created on the road. These ones I created on the road. Sometimes I worked on paper and then I put it into the book like this one and that one. But with this one, I worked straight into the book on the jeans. This heart fell out of my folder and there was a quote on it on the back. We must be willing to let go of the life we planned in order to receive the life that's waiting for us. And I couldn't read the name anymore. So if anyone knows who wrote this quote or said this quote, please leave it in the comments. On the next page, you can see some almond blossoms. I started this almond blossom page at when we were at Rule and Petra's place in Cartagena. We had some lovely walks around a natural park in a natural park and everywhere you looked there were almond blossoms. Some were pink, some were white. It was really great. We ate some tapas and went back home and I set up a background layer which was in this yellow ochre colors but later on I felt I really had to look at the ground closely because it wasn't all this color and it looked very uh, very very dry but also there were a lot of plants like here and in the mountains there were also uh, many trees so I had to add some other colors and I've, I also decided to change my composition because this was the path we walked on. At first I had, had another image in mind, but then we had a walk and that was much lovelier. So I almost uh, worked over this one. Um, besides from the sky, that was already good, but I added another composition to it. I plan to work on some abstract pages. As you can see, there's a woman and she was just popping up. So I had to, well, I couldn't remove her. I, it was too lovely to, to have her in the journal. And the dress I created from a piece of fabric that Machtelt gave to me. I also added it on this page. And of course I was, well, I wanted to add some more patterns directly on the paper. And this was a pattern that I already created at home. On this spread and the next one, I 
experimented a lot with new uh, Durant pencils like this one. Uh, I haven't used that a lot and I also use some acrylic markers from the brand Amsterdam and they are really lovely. I also work with oil pastel, uh, which I normally never do. Um, but this was a tile on the ground and I just make a print of it um, by putting the paper on the tile and then go over it with the oil pastel. I wanted to return the color of the jeans here and you see also here and here are pieces of brownish pink and here's a piece of fabric which matching these colors so I want to make well, kind of a balanced page from it. I really love combining abstract with figurative art. On this page I wanted to draw some plants that were in the garden of Roel and Petra. And you see this figurative style is also something that I really enjoy. And it's, well, developing my, sh I try to develop my skills. And I add some, I added leaves that were actually not on that place because it was dry and there were plants and there were green plants, uh, but well, it was hard to irrigate them and I didn't want to pluck anything at that place. Um, but here I added some leaves that I found yesterday and I, I really enjoy making a balanced page with, with, page with all kind of elements. So collecting things from your surrounding, sketching some things on loose pieces of paper, adding things directly on the page and adding collected items. It's kind of what I do in my online class, Discoveries, and I add the link of that course in the description below. After our visit to Roel and Petra, we met some wonderful people from Belgium. We stayed at a wonderful beach with Patrice and Annick. And Patrice turned out to be a talented drawer. He is mainly drawing portraits uh, with charcoal and it's really good. He hadn't worked with acrylic paint yet. Uh, so we decided to have a painting session together on the beach, which was really lovely and he made his first acrylic seascape. I had to work a bit differently because I had a page with the, well, kind of canvas, uh, well, substrate. So it was very hard to paint on that one uh, for, to do a whole uh, seascape. So I decided to work with mixed media techniques using the uh, IKEA package material I used some pieces of paper, which you don't see. Maybe there are still some book pages visible, but I don't see them anymore. So I think I painted everything over. But I used a lot of mixed media things just to make sure that it was a nice balanced landscape. So this was our view from the van and it was really great. We had two lovely days with Patrice and Anik. I have another art journal with me dedicated to portrait painting, but I had some leftover paint and I didn't want it to dry. So I made another seascape and maybe I will draw or paint a person in it. I don't know yet, but it's quite okay how it is right now. And this was some more leftover paint that I still had on my palette. So this isn't finished yet. This one is a bit closer to completed, but I still have to create some details, but I just had to do something with the paint. And we had to move on to our final destination, at least for this video, uh, Granada to visit the Alhambra. We stayed for two days in Granada. And the first day we visited this city and the second day the Alhambra. And on the first day it was very rainy when we had our city walk. On this page you see I collected some patterns and 
they all come from different sources. Uh, this one is from a label from the wine bottle. And this one is from the lovely game Azul. And this is not sponsored, but if you love playing games and creating patterns, this is a wonderful game to play. We play it a lot when it's rainy or it's cold or dark outside, which is often the case. So it's a lovely game. And I really love the patterns. This is from the manual, the fr French version. <laughs> so you can open it. And then there was a lovely shop. And as the name Patio already says, it was a shop with a lovely garden inside with lovely plants and tile work. So here I created some tile work and up the, on the back as well. It's a shop that sells organic perfumes and soaps and this is a sample strip that they use to put the perfume on and you see that my colors are a bit fading here and that was a lovely effect. I think it's because of the alcohol that's here. Um, we also bought this wonderful soap with also patterns on it. This is the map, how you can get there. This is all, well, we were really soaking wet that day and even my bag where I put this in was completely wet. My, my shoes were leaking, um, my bag was leaking, so it, it was quite an adventure. Uh, this one I actually got from uh, a present, which was wrapped in this paper. This is also from the patio. I used the shape of these ones uh, in this page as well. And these ones I made up myself. I really want to work with more square shapes like here. So that's a kind of new pattern style to me. Somebody asked me, how many books do you have? And this is my ninth book. I was just counting and six of those nine books are completed and three I am still working on. So I wor I'm, I'm working on in three books at the moment. This one, the portrait book, and I have at home my book, which is called Home. And that's a larger one. This is a bit smaller than an A4 size. And the other one is a bit larger than A4 size for one page. Why I show so many things in videos, why do I create so many pages? I think that's because I just work in it almost daily. It keeps me going while painting, so and it's just a lovely thing to do. It also helps me to process everything that happens in my life, as well in my inner world as my outer world. So it's, well, it's a very satisfying thing to do. So thank you for the question. And if you have any other questions, let me know and I'd be happy to answer you. Next time I'll be showing you, of course, my pages that I created about the Alhambra. If you don't want to miss this, please turn on the notification bell, especially when you like drawing patterns and the tile work of the Alhambra. And it's really great. I can really recommend you to, to go there as well. It's very inspiring. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave something in the comments. Maybe you can tell me which page is your favorite from this time. I'll see you next time. Bye.